the main reasons I like the Philippines is the ability to think. In the UK, everything's tied to something else. What I mean is, you're constantly getting paperwork generated to do menial tasks. You know, even your car, if you take your car off the road, um, say for example, like I did, I was going to the Philippines, you've got to not only take it off the road, you've then got to send a piece of paper to say it's off the road. Even though if they find it on the road, they will fine you for it being on the road or crush it. Um, so it's pretty obvious that they do find it on the road anyway, they would destroy your vehicle. So it's just paperwork generation because they'll know a lot of people forget to process the paperwork. In <coughs> in that case, what happens? They'll find you for just a paperwork process. So you get a lot of crap that just to make people a job. Um, I find the Philippines, if you're a foreigner, most of them aren't your issue or problem. Yes, you still have to do your uh, visa runs, but once you're a resident, that's once a year. And that only takes about 10 minutes once you've already got your visas done. Um, the tourist visa is a bit more complicated and regular. But it's just like things are less complicated. A lot of the paperwork processing, I get other people to do it for me. Um, in the UK, a lot of it's in person, although they they are heavily online now with stuff, there's still a lot of stuff to do. And why is all this why is this all important? Well, the reality is in the Philippines, because you've got a lower cost of living, you've got a space to do stuff that you want to do or need to do, and it's not dragged down with a constant bureaucratic nonsense. You're also not chasing money in the same way, because obviously if you bring money from the UK to the Philippines, I normally can live a year on three months UK income. So <coughs> if you work three months in the UK, you could live for the rest of the year in the Philippines without doing another thing. Um, and why is that important? Because it means you can concentrate on the good things in life. Doing stuff you want to do. Developing other businesses if you wanted to. The main thing is, you're not constantly chasing your tail. Which is where the UK, I wouldn't say is going, has gone. It's been like that for a long time, but it's getting worse with the, the house prices. I mean, the, the joke in the UK is... The house prices are stupidly high, yet I know in the facilities management industry, the wages they haven't gone up since 2000. So people haven't had a wage rise since 2000. We've already had a recession. So that's just such a madness. And I know people go, oh yeah, it's the demand. It's the, the demand isn't that great. It's all um, a bit of figure fudging. Because, I mean, the, the reason being is, it's just an artificially inflated market. Philippines, you can get cheap rental if you're not buy, buying a building. Um, and we, we didn't buy for the first few years. Our cheap, our first rental was three and a half thousand a month. And that's, that's, that's the thing. You've got the freedom, you've got the time to spend with your partner, you you're doing stuff you want to be doing. Time to think. Time to study. Time to go out, go scuba diving, doing whatever you want. Because paying the bills isn't that hard. In the UK, it's a grind. It's a constant grind. It's a factory. Thanks for watching.